Hello all, in today's session 2, we will be studying about the corrugated packaging from unit 2. Corrugated boxes or corrugated fiber boards. The corrugated fiber boards consist basically of two main components, a liner and a medium. As shown in the picture, liner is a flat material, medium is a paper that are formed into arches also called flutes in technically. The tips of the flutes are glued so that the plain liner is made to sandwich in between two liners to form a corrugated fiber board. Here we get to see a working principle of corrugated fiber board manufacturing machine that to understand how this board is made or manufactured ready for packaging. Here to our left most side in the picture there are two different liners that runs one of the roller passing through a corrugated roller and the a plain liner passing from the other side wherein the liner that goes through two corrugated rollers once the formation of a profile on the paper is made the tips of the flutes is applied with the required amount of adhesives that helps the liner from the other side gets in contact forming a single faced board. As soon as the single faced board that consists of a floating medium and a single liner passes through a bridge store. Again continued to the extended section of the machine to the other side of the fluted tips to apply adhesive over the tips of the fluted medium. The second liner is made to pass through the belt conveyors such that the two liners and the medium in between the two liners are achieved in this process. Thereby various sizes of medium can be achieved in a corrugated fiber board manufacturing machine. Single faced corrugated board. In a single faced corrugated board, a liner at the base and the medium on top of the liner is made to run parallelly over the complete surface of a liner. Here, the two straw boards or the paper is made to pass in between 
the corrugation roller or the cylinder which has a fluted profile in the paper to form a fluted medium. So the wavy texture here ensures that when a board is converted to a package or a box corrugated fiber board box absorbs maximum shocks that the package when experienced with external static forces. Double faced corrugated board. In double faced corrugated board a medium in between two sheets on top and bottom of the liner are made to run parallelly to form a corrugated board. The thickness and the grades are widely standardized in variant thicknesses of the corrugated fiber board wherein the medium fluid have a wide, vary, wide range of thicknesses and increasing or decreasing the number of fluids per foot. This double faced corrugated board profile gives enough cushioning, strength, rigidity and dimensional stability throughout the surface of the board. The double faced corrugated boards are used as a protective device for the products. Also some varieties of pads, liner pads, tubes, partitions and for it it is used for many articles or many kinds of goods for packing for it to protect from external or internal damages. It is largely used in packing of cutlery ware, glassware and many fragile articles and earthen ware or earthen containers. Here we have to study a flute profile, the variable variant sizes of a flute medium and that there are standard sizes and the flute profile that are important to be considered while deciding the thickness of a corrugated board. Also this fluid profile is also known as grades of corrugated board. First one is a flute. This is a type of a chorus profile that the flute profile is about 105 to 125 mm in flute height. It has about 33 flutes that is 33 curves per foot. Second one is the B flute. It's a fine profiled corrugated board. This flute profile for a corrugated board is about 150 to 185 mm in height. It has about 47 flutes per foot. Third, C flute. The flute profile is medium where 
the height is about 120 to 145 mm in height it has about 38 foot flutes per foot e flute this is a fine profile the flute profile is about 290 to 320 mm in height it's about 90 flutes per foot f flute it's a micro profile corrugated board the flute profile height is about 350 mm in height it has about 125 flutes per foot types of corrugated board in the previous slide we learned how the fruit profile is named there are various fruit prof profiles that are a flute b flute c flute e flute F flute. The combination of these flutes A, B, C, E, F are used in various forms. It could be of A, B flute or B, C flute or A, C flute or F, A flute in various combinations these flutes are sandwiched together to form a required thickness of corrugated fiber board also the board styles are as shown in this slide is single faced style single wall style double wall and the triple wall in a single faced only a liner and the fluted medium is made to run through the surface of each of the paper boards wherein in single wall there are two liners running in between the medium to f sandwiched in between to form a fluted profile in double wall the three liners plain liners are made to run wherein the medium or the fluted medium is sandwiched in between the three liners plain liners in triple wall the fluted medium of three numbers is made to sandwich in between four plain liners to form a thicker board thicker corrugated board for additional extra protection for fragile and breakable products here are the different styles of corrugated board here in the picture one the style of the corrugated board is half slotted type box this half slotted type box mainly consists of basically and also made of one piece with a glued stitched or taped seal ends these boxes are shipped flat ready to use easy to erect and requires closure with an additional top lid if required this type of box is used for displaying merchandise in transport and many more areas this half slotted type of boxes are strong and rigid container provides a various protective functions for the 
goods and products second one is the slotted type of box this type of box is generally manufactured in one piece that it is glued and stitched or taped the manufacturer joints and top and bottom flaps these type of slotted type boxes are shipped flat or it is also known as knocked that can be ready to use also known as it can be easily be erected and the flaps provided on the top and the bottom helps in good closure giving enough protection to the inner product this type of slotted type boxes are used for transportation of goods for longer traveling or longer transportation telescope type boxes these telescope type boxes are made of more than one piece that is two piece and are characterized that by a lid on the top and the bottom at the lower side over the body of the box this type of telescope boxes are strong and rigid such that heavy goods can be carried in this style of boxes for example we come across the products called crackers that we use du during diwali are mostly packed in the telescope type of boxes this telescope type boxes helps in a good display purpose this can have an added value that the end user or the consumer can reuse the box for at multiple times folder type boxes and trays this type of folder type boxes consists of or made of only one piece of board the bottom of the box is hinged such that to form a two on all sides forming a wall and a cover the lock taps that are provided handles the display system and can be incorporated in some designs slide type boxes this slide type boxes are again made of two piece two different boards that consists of a sleeve and also a slider in which both the sleeve and the slider move in this different directions for dispensing this box is a similar fashion to our regular usage match box wherein this slide type box are also used in corrugated box for many goods that has to be reused at the consumer end also gives extra protection 
that the two boards or two faces of boards are provided or at the top and the bottom that helps in providing extra protection to the inner product rigid type boxes this rigid type boxes consists of two separate ends and a body that requires stitching or gluing of fiber board or can be made of a wood also partition the inner fitments such as inside liners or liner pads separators or it is also called as dividers wherein it is placed or tied to the chase design or as a singular item or a singular packaging material these partitions are more helpful in fragile and breakable products such that suppose a glass product a product made made of glass it could be a cutlery it could be of glasses it could be a decorative fragile goods so when the product is more fragile during transit there are chances of the same products when they get closer to each other there are chances of breakage to avoid breakage and damage to the product this partition helps in preventing the, the inner product getting closer to each other to avoid the damages to the product this partition is more helpful for the product such as earthen pots glassware cutlery ware and many other decorative goods products also fold up pads this pads are generally are also known as fitments such as also known as inside liners pads separator dividers similar to that of a partition this fold up pads are also used to protect the inner product giving additional protection to avoid damages this fold up pads are the replacement for the thermofoam thermofoam is a pad or a fitment that is made of a polymeric material since the polymeric material is banned everywhere around that it creates an environmental hazard this fold up pads have come up with exclusive protection to the product as a replacement to the thermal foams thermal foams are usually made of a white material that we have usually noticed in many packagings that a soft sponge kind of thing made of polymer these fold up pads are widely used in many electronic equipments and any non perishable goods that helps in a better shipment or transportation of the product that reaches till the consumer in a safe way end of session 4 thank you